It's time for the main event. In one corner, we have the puffy. In the other corner, we've got purple. Which one should you get? Hey guys, it's Martin here for Matt's Clarity. Today I'm talking about just that. I'm gonna talk about their similarities, their differences, my experience with both, and help you choose the right one for you. Let's get started. First off, if you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclarity.com. There you're going to find some great reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Puffy and the Purple. So let's start off by talking about the similarities between these two mattresses. First off, they are both very popular bed-in-the-box mattresses. They both have great customer service terms, sleep trials, and warranties. They both have a very similar base layer, and last but not least, they're very similar in terms of price. And now let's talk about the differences between these two mattresses. First off, there are some major construction differences. The Puffy is an all foam mattress with memory foam right on top. The Purple's gonna have a very unique hyper elastic gel polymer right on top of the mattress. Now because of that, there are going to be some feel differences. The Puffy's gonna have more of a balanced foam feel with a little bit of that memory foam feel right on top. The Purple's going to have a very unique kind of squishy gel feel. It's firm and pressure relieving at the same time. Now, speaking of firmness in our experience, the Puffy is firmer than the Purple. This will depend on your weight, but I think most people will agree that the Puffy and the Purple are not the same in terms of firmness. And then last but not least, speaking of breathability, the Purple is going to be a more breathable mattress, should sleep cooler than the Puffy. So now let's talk about the construction of both these mattresses, starting on top and then working our way down. First off, speaking of the cover, very similar cover, both very breathable, soft, shouldn't affect the overall feel of these mattresses too much. Moving down to the comfort layers, right on top of the Puffy mattress is a layer of memory foam, but it's also quite responsive, bounces back into place pretty quickly. At the same time, it has a little bit of that slow moving memory foam feel right on top of the mattress. Below that, you're gonna have a layer of transition foam. It's gonna be quite responsive, add some bounce to the top of the mattress. Moving over to the purple mattress on top, a very unique hyper elastic gel polymer. You've never seen anything like this with another mattress. Basically, it stays firm and supportive until you apply enough pressure. Then that area and that area only will collapse. Below that, you're going to have a foam transition layer. Then moving down to the base layers of both mattresses, both have a very similar base support foam. So what does all this mean? Well, first off, the main difference between these two mattresses in terms of construction is going to be found in their comfort layer. With the Puffy on top, a layer of memory foam, over on the purple, a hyper elastic gel polymer. Very different feel with both these mattresses, a very different overall experience with both mattresses. Now, speaking of support, I'd probably give the advantage to the purple mattress. The hyper elastic gel polymer is pressure relieving, but also very, very supportive as well. Speaking of breathability, the Purple is much more breathable than the Puffy mattress. The Puffy might trap more heat, sleep hotter than the Purple mattress. And last but not least, speaking of durability, I'd probably give the advantage to the Purple mattress. It's a very, very durable material right on top of the Purple. It shouldn't sag even after many years of use. And now let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I said the Puffy was a seven out of 10. It's a little bit firmer than average. And the Purple was a six and a half out of 10. It's about medium in terms of firmness. I do wanna note though that I am a larger person. So it's going to affect how firm the mattress feels to me. For instance, if you're a lighter person than me, you might not press quite so far into the Puffy. This mattress might feel softer to you than it did to me. However, if you're lying on the purple mattress, you actually might not activate that top gel grid. It might feel firmer to you than it did to me. On the flip side, if you're a larger person than me, the puffy might feel even firmer to you. The purple actually might feel even softer to you than it did to me. But for me, six and a half for the purple and a seven for the puffy. Now, speaking of feel, with the puffy more of a balanced foam feel, a little bit of slumping memory foam feel right on top, but it's a pretty responsive mattress, not too hard to move around on the puffy. Moving over to the purple mattress, a very unique feel, kind of has a squishy gel-like feel, but it's also quite firm and supportive. A very unique feel overall with the purple. Now let's talk about how I feel in different sleep positions on both these mattresses. Starting off on the puffy on my back, good balance of comfort and support, my hips sinking just the right amount, good lumbar support, good contouring as well. Moving to my side, I'm pressing pretty far into the mattress, feeling some pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Again, if you're lighter than me, you might not press in quite so far. You might feel better pressure relief than I did. Moving to my stomach, however, not supportive enough for me. So I'm bowing at the hips a little bit and getting out of alignment. 
Now moving over to the purple mattress, starting on my back, a very good match for me. Great balance of comfort and support as well. The mattress only collapsed under my hips and butt. Everything else stays flat and supportive. Moving to my side, I'm feeling better pressure relief on the purple than I felt on the puffy. Again, I'm 250 pounds. I'm large enough to actually activate that gel grid on top and get the pressure relief the purple has to offer. If you're lighter than me, you might not get the best pressure relief on the purple. At the same time, moving to my stomach, it doesn't collapse at all, so good support even under my hips, a good match for stomach sleeping. Here at Matt is clear to like to make subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now pulling up the side sleeping results for both these mattresses, you can see there is some more pressure specifically on my shoulder on the puffy. This is not too surprising to me considering I felt better pressure relief on the purple mattress. If you sleep with a partner, there's two things you want to think about. That's motion transfer and edge support. Now motion transfer means if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you going to feel that motion or not? Now edge support means if you're sitting down near the edge of a mattress, if you're lying down near the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or like you're going to roll off and onto the floor? Now, first off, speaking of motion transfer, I would give the advantage to the puffy mattress. Has memory foam right on top, absorbing a lot of that motion. Should be a better option for couples in that respect. However, in terms of edge support, I give the slight advantage to purple. I feel more secure sitting and lying down near the edge of the purple mattress. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Which one of these mattresses should you get? In terms of who should get the puffy, I think it's the better option for light and medium weight side sleepers. You should feel better pressure relief lying on the puffy. You shouldn't sink in quite so far. Good pressure relief on your shoulders and your hips. Also, I think if you're a lightweight back sleeper, you might not be heavy enough to fully press into the top of the purple mattress, but you shouldn't have that problem with the puffy. Last but not least, those who want more of a balanced foam feel with a bit of that memory foam feel on top should take a look at the puffy mattress. Easy to move around but still has a bit of that slow moving feel right on top of the mattress. Now in terms of who should get the purple, I think it's the better option for heavier side sleepers and heavier back sleepers. If you're large enough, you're really going to activate that gel grid, good, good support and comfort when you're on your back, and good comfort when you're on your side. It's also a better option, I think, for stomach sleepers in general. Your hips shouldn't bow in. You should get good neutral spinal alignment, good overall support. Last but not least, I think the purple is a better option for hot sleepers. If you overheat during the night, the purple shouldn't make this happen to you. A lot of room for airflow with a gel grid should be a cooler sleeping mattress overall. So the puffy and the purple mattress are both online mattresses. They're going to arrive your house on your front step. So what do you do next? Well, first of all, there's a slight difference between these two mattresses. The puffy comes in a box. The purple comes in a roll outside of the box, but the process is pretty similar. But let's talk specifically about the puffy and kind of understand what to do with the purple as well. Bring the puffy inside in the box, bring it into your bedroom, open up the top of the box. Then take out the rolled up mattress, place it on your frame or foundation. Then slowly, carefully cut through the layers of plastic. You don't wanna damage your brand new mattress. Then give it about 24 to 48 hours to completely expand and off gas, you should be good to go. With the purple mattress, pretty much similar, except you don't have a box. Basically, take the wrapping off the outside of the mattress after you put it on your frame or foundation, cut away the layers of plastic, give it a little bit of time to completely expand, which can expand a lot more quickly than the puffy. Now I'd like to answer some frequently asked questions about the puffy and purple mattresses. The first question is, is puffy better than purple? Now I wouldn't say one mattress is better than the other. They are a better match for different types of people. The puffy is a better match, I think, for light and medium weight side sleepers, lightweight back sleepers, and those like more of a balanced foam feel. The purple is a better option, I think, for heavier back and side sleepers and hot sleepers as well. The second question is, which mattress sleeps cooler, the puffy or the purple? In our experience, the purple slept cooler than the puffy. That's because on top you have a hyperelastic gel polymer that forms a gel grid, a lot more room for airflow, so it should trap less heat than the puffy, should be a better option for hot sleepers. The last question is, which mattress is going to last longer, the puffy or the purple? Now, taking a look at the construction of both these mattresses, I said the purple is going to last longer than the puffy. On top, a layer of hyperelastic gel polymer, very durable, should make it a longer lasting mattress. At this point, you should know which mattress is right for you, but if you're still a bit confused, you want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. Also, if you're just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressclary.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. So hit the like button and subscribe.